Hello everyone, my name is Martha Tome and I am representing the Cantorales Working Group. I included my headshot over here so uh, because I am not able to be there physically. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you about Cantorales, Spanish chant books in the Americas and beyond. So this is part of a larger project called Digital Analysis of Chant Transmission, DACT, directed by Jennifer Bain and Deborah Lacoste in Canada. It's a partnership project whose goal is to extend the study of the dissemination of plain chain from localized research focused mostly on Europe and the Middle Ages to global research tracing transmission to other continents through to the modern era. Since data management when dealing with thousand years of music is a mere obstacle, DACT is mobilizing a large network of people and projects to analyze chant repertories digitally and develop new computational resources in tandem with existing chant databases and digital repositories of manuscripts. You can find more information in this URL. So as part of this project, the Cantorales Group studies the transmission of chant via manuscripts that originated in Spain specifically, but are now in other countries. Here you have the a working group uh, the team leader is Virginia Blanton at the University of Missouri. And you probably know uh, some of the collaborators, uh, David Andres Fernandez, Richard Heffer, Jane Hardy, and this is me, Martha Tome. So we are working on a catalog of Spanish manuscripts containing plain chant currently located outside of Spain with a principal focus on the Americas as part of the Spain di Sp Spanish diaspora. Uh, we are working this in partnership with the Spanish Early Music Manuscript SEM database, uh, which was founded as part of the Cantus Index Plain Chant Database Network, uh, and it's a database for Spanish medieval music. Uh, you probably recognize members of the team here. Um, so what we are doing is to make the collected, what we want to do is to make the collected metadata for this catalog available in an open access database like SEM. Uh, so that researchers will become aware of these cultural survivals and begin to use them for research. And how are we going to achieve this? Through crowdsourcing. We elaborated a preliminary survey that includes several sections that will help us provide the most complete reference to plain chant books. Um, through it, we hope to obtain better understanding of the contents of the books and the routes by which these artifacts came uh, to their current locations. So I am going to show you uh, the questions of this survey. You can find it in this URL, but I'm going to show them to you in here. So in addition to ask for personal information of the person who is providing the, uh, the information in the survey, so your name and your email, it will ask for information about the sources, like for example, uh, if the information that you're providing comes from a printed or an online catalog, and if that's the case, whether you can provide a reference to that catalog. Or if there's no catalog, eh, just eh, tell whether the owner has given you permission to participate in this project to eh, compile information about the book. Eh, it will ask you about the where the choir book is, eh, the archive, the city, and the country. It will ask for the shelf mark and the owner, uh, it will ask information about the book, whether it's a complete book, a partial book, or a fragment, if it is handwritten or printed, and the material of the pages. Uh, it will ask you for the date, either the exact date or the relative date of the book, the origin or provenance, uh, if the book has an index, and what type of uh, choir book or source is this, whether it's an antiphoner, a gradual, uh, or what type of book. How many pages does it have? And how many musical staves per page uh, does it have? Uh, what kind of notation it uses? What kind of decorations? And uh, information about IDs. So whether it has a Cantus or a SEM, a Spanish Early Music Manuscripts uh, ID. And also if there are digital images, if you could provide a URL or ID for those images. If there are no digital images, it will ask you if you can provide some, uh, maybe for the first 10 leaves of the book and to upload them here if you are available. Um, so that's the survey in general. Um, what we want right now, and so this is a survey that we're going to pass to students and researchers, but right now what we want is to build this network of researchers to go, to be able to uh, collect this data. Uh, so 
um, to be able to do this catalog of Spanish sources in the Americas and beyond. Currently, uh, our team already has information about sources in Colombia, Chile, Ecuador, Guatemala, and Australia. Uh, but we want to be able to get to know other researchers that could uh, help us give information about sources, Spanish sources uh, that are outside of Spain. Uh, so whether they know uh, plain chain sources, they, they don't have to be the ones to collect the data. They just have to let us know about these sources, if they know plain chain sources, if they have a been cataloged already, if not, if there is someone who could provide this type of information. So provide contacts, archivists, musicologists, students working on these sources, all this type of information. So as an example of that for uh, Guatemala, I can talk about what I did myself, uh, how did I find uh, information about uh, chant books, uh, Spanish chant books in Guatemala. So I was working on my own project. I was working while well, I was doing my PhD. I was uh, digitizing some Guatemalan polyphonic choir books. So not chant books, these were polyphonic choir books. Uh, written in menstrual notation, as you can see here. And the outputs of this project were uh, digital images and digital scores of these uh, of these pieces. So digital images, as you can see here, I obtained some digital images by going to Guatemala and digitizing, uh, in particular, one polyphonic choir book. Um, so I went to Guatemala. There weren't any resources for digitizing this book because these were large items and they are old, so you have to handle them with a lot of care. So anyway, what I ended up doing is uh, building a do-it-yourself book scanner because book scanners are just very expensive and the archive didn't have any book scanners or the resources to buy one and I didn't have them either. So I made my own with a uh, built and borrowed parts and I ended up digitizing the choir book and obtaining these images. And as I said, uh, the other output are these digital scores. So basically, once you have your digital images, you can use technology uh, to get digital scores. Uh, this technology can automatically recognize the symbols in the page and can read menstrual notation, interpret rhythm for you, and provide the score properly lined up. So I was working in this project. This was my project for my PhD. But when I was conducting the digitization in Guatemala, I realized um, that there were other books in there. Uh, surprise, surprise, there were Chan books in the archive. So I had contacts in there. I knew a Guatemala musicologist, Omar Morales Abril, and asked him for information about this. And he told me, oh, yes, there are 43 books. Uh, he's planning to do an inventory uh, of each of these books in the future. Uh, but as of now, there is a record of cultural assets that includes uh, information about of these uh, chant books and some photos. And there's a copy of this record in the archive that, that you visited. Uh, so he told me about this on February and on April, I was visiting my family in Guatemala and I was like, okay, I want to consult this record of cultural assets and see what is in there. And I visited the archive and it was, there is this book. And indeed they have a, they have this book and for each plain chant, a choir book, it has two pages of general information and then some photos of the details of the sources, like for example, these ones for that particular chant book. Um, so that's exactly what we want. We want to um, to build a network of researchers to collect this data, not to collect the data themselves, but that they are aware of its existence so that we can designate resources to collect the actual data and put it in, in SEM. Um, and in addition to soliciting data about the survivals, we will encourage researchers eventually in the future uh, to do an inventory of the chants in these books, uh, contributing to the greater knowledge of chant transmission worldwide. And we know this is a Herculean effort, uh, but we hope to develop networks of graduate students, musicology, Spanish departments, and bibliography classes who once trained will index the chant, affording them uh, to be uh, digitally published through some, uh, through the database we talked before. So this is it. Thank you very much. And if you have any advice on people to approach for finding information to build this catalog and about questions of the survey, 
please contact uh, either Virginia Blanton, uh, the leader of the team, or myself. And here is the link for the survey if you want to take a, a, um, a photo of the link. Uh, or you can contact us and we will send that link to you. Thank you.